Canada's Competition Bureau is suing the Cineplex movie chain for what the Bureau says is advertising misleading ticket prices. The Bureau says Cineplex is breaking the law by adding an additional fee which raises the online price. The Bureau is calling on Cineplex to stop what it is describing as deceptive advertising and also to pay a penalty. Cineplex is countering that there is no merit to the case. Ken Whitehurst is my guest. He is the Executive Director of the Consumers Council of Canada. Ken, good to see you. Thanks for your time. Uh, thank you for speaking with me. Yeah, are you surprised? What do you what do you make of this lawsuit? Well, I, I think that, um, you know, consumers are uh, pretty fed up with, um, uh, su you know, surprise add-on fees and the way uh, price presentations are being manipulated in general. And the Competition Bureau has been sending a strong warning that it's going to look at what's called drip pricing. And... Um, and, uh, you know, it'll be up to the competition tribunal to decide whether this exactly applies. But it is really strange that uh, Cineplex that, uh, you know, runs a business where they want the consumers to come and relax and everything else is doing something that, that is actually angering so many consumers, which is to, to tack on a fee at the end to sell a ticket. And, uh, they're the ticket seller in this case. They they know what their tickets cost. And I think a lot of consumers really doubt that it costs them more to sell them a ticket uh, electronically where the consumer does all the work instead of a clerk. Yeah, well said. What is drip pricing? You mentioned that. Can you just explain that in layman's terms? Drip pricing is when you uh, lure people in by offering one price only to have them find out that there are a lot of charges uh, that they didn't know about added uh, to to at, at point of transaction. So um, this doesn't not only irritates the consumer, but it it's unfair to com other competitors who, uh, you know, fairly advertise their prices so that consumers can compare prices and we can have a competitive marketplace. Yeah, you raise a great point too about this idea of a, you know, kind of like an online handling fee of sorts, if I can use that way to describe it, that, you know, people would believe, oh yeah, there is some additional, you know, work involved here in handling, you know, an e-commerce transaction, Ken. Well, I think arguably there's less. I mean, the banks didn't stop, uh, start offering people, uh, you know, uh, 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 banking uh, uh, without a uh, teller for no reason. I mean, the human resources to manage ticket sales are pretty high. So it, it's really kind of hard for people to buy the idea that the transaction really is materially different in one environment than the other. Hey, I'm also curious how this Cineplex fee differs from fees we pay for other things like Ticketmaster, for example. I think what's important here is to understand this is about the price presentation, not charging money. So um, if you look at Ticketmaster's presentation of prices, while we don't really uh, like what they do, uh, nonetheless, they'll give you their, their ticket price and r immediately accompanying the ticket price are the other charges they will charge you. Uh, people don't like these charges and they're very significant relative to the price. but you might actually be able to buy that Ticketmaster ticket at a at a ticket counter somewhere uh, for that price. Um, uh, and Ticketmaster is not who's selling you the tickets, really. They're an agent ask, acting for whoever is selling the tickets. Ken, appreciate you taking the time for CTV today. Thanks so much.